sure. Leg. Take a wood. A wood. Wow. <laughs> a leg. Oh my a leg? god. Or some breasts like that. Yeah, but with a little bit of um. What? This is all they gave? Yeah, there's two though. I know, but, but they're so fucking it. cheap. You want me to cut your breast now, babe? This stuff? Like white meat, you know? Sure. Let me have um a little bit of the skin too. No, you that's all mine, sorry. Mm, I like the skin. I don't think. Look, babe. I'm gonna cut it like this so the skin stays on it. There you go. No, just a little bit. Not I can't Your have too much. Off. Here. It's not too much, it's not that's good. Is that good? Yeah. Because if you want more chicken, it's here, okay? Okay. Why the hell is this so damn close? Hi, people. Who's all here? If you hear me moaning, just ignore me. I'm in heaven. I'm fat. not even touching you to moan. A right fat now. boy in a candy store. Fat boy like chocolate cake. Oh, someone's live. Hold on. Let me check and see who. You want to moderate for oh, me? I'm just number one YouTuber on the market. Mm hmm? It's a what? Hmm? What'd you say? The number one YouTuber out there. I know. Hello, hello. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I don't even know how to... Volume up? I'm going to be doing an unboxing in a minute. Just waiting for Sleepy Hats to join. Oh my god. Shout out to Zonkos. <clears throat> no, they're not paying me to do it. They have they to sponsor me. Yet. They need to sponsor me before I give them a shout out. Well, I'll give them a shout out. I know. This I know. Bad, we need this bad boy's happy. Fine. This bad boy's happier than hell. What's up, Tim? It's Welcome. Been, it's been years, honey. No. No, it's been a year. Mm. We just like That's once a week. I mean mm. once a year. Mm. Shh, keep the moaning down to the minimum. Oh my god, that sauce. <laughs> I know I miss it. How many did it bring? Ten? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Like literally? Mm-hmm. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, I'll tell you guys what we're eating. Oh my God. If you guys are ever in California, I don't live in California, but if you guys are ever in California, go visit Zonko's Chicken. They have the best chicken. It's rotisserie chicken. They give this, which I'm going to be eating. It's like grounded garlic. Kind of like spicy thing. too. And the garlic, I need to figure out the secret ingredients. Like it's pure garlic. I need to figure out the mixed secret ingredients. Mixed with like olive oil or something. It's so like Yeah, garlic. it's so awesome. And they blend it. So my family came and picked up my girls to take them out of town for a month. And I'm just eating my misery away at the moment. And the rotisserie I'm, chicken I'm already missing my that? girls. Oh my gosh. Their chicken's slow cooked, so it's so juicy. Yeah. But see, this is what we do. We dip it in garlic. No, this is what we do. That's what I do. We, we put a bunch of chicken meat in it. He, he makes a sandwich out of it. And then we wrap it in pita or lalash. Mm-hmm. What a good Mediterranean food. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. It right. is so good. Love you. <clears throat> this garlic sauce, love you too. This garlic sauce itself... It's worth it so much money. I literally put it on everything. They sell these per... Uh, a buck. Was it a buck? Yeah, Each about a dollar, a dollar fifty, something like that. Um, I use like we bought or... like ten of them. Just for one dinner. It's that good. Actually, I lied. I'm going to save it for some for later tomorrow. Yeah, like I put on sandwiches and stuff. Yeah, you could put the garlic sauce on anything. I wonder if I should make a steak and put the garlic sauce on it. We did before. No, I know, but I'm saying like on on camera where people yeah. could see it. It's I need so to find good out how to make it. 
Yeah. It's super delicious, so we're pigging out at the moment. I was hungry. <clears throat> Me too. So how's you guys' this week been? Oh, I do have a surprise for you guys I want to share with you. Give me one sec. Babe, you're going to have to entertain them because they could see you for a minute. Hold on. Okay. So, this is another thing I've been working on. <clears throat> Why did it suck for you? So, I've talked before not too much in my videos because I don't normally like to give away so much spiritual stuff, especially the work I do, but I figured this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw in my work, spiritual stuff, like the, the products that I sell. I'm bringing those back and you guys already know that. But what I'm doing is I'm adding seashells. And they're not just any seashells. They are... Hello, welcome. Um, they are freshwater seashells. They're not saltwater. They're freshwater. They come from a lake where they have billions of them. I'm not even exaggerating. You literally walk on seashells inside the lake and outside on the sand. And... We um, picked these up hand by hand, like myself, because I don't like to um, have someone else do it. So my husband and I both did it together. And I picked out some really cool ones, but I will be adding this to my collection of my spiritual stuff that I'm selling, which is coming real soon. And seashells are basically uh, prosperity, good um happy life and relationships they're really good with relationships very good luck in your fucking life whether it's financial relationship personal doesn't matter the seashells are good luck in general so why not and the best thing about the seashells is besides all my other products being blessed by me and cleansed and and all the good stuff um, once I'm done with these seashells, bundling them up for you guys at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse them and I'm going to put good luck spells on them. So when you guys purchase it from me, it's not like just going to a regular store and buying seashells. These are actually <clears throat> spelled, like enchanted. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to show you guys a couple of ones. Again, there's like some, some of them that just regular, beautiful seashells. <clears throat> Let me grab some so I could show you guys. Just to give you an idea of what they look like. Just, you know what I'm saying? And no, I'm not painting them because I know people are going to start asking me, are you going to paint the seashells? No, I'm not painting them. Number one, I'm not five years old to start fucking painting stuff. Um, number two, I don't have the time. And number three, I like the natural look. The more natural you could see. You can get that's a regular one and then here's one that has a little bit of grayish blue tint to it so these are the fancy ones I have a lot more fancy ones I actually want to show you guys and I have about no lie maybe about 10,000 of them right now so I have a lot of work to do as far as Cleaning them, polishing them, and then enchanting them for you guys. Here is somewhat of a regular one. And no, it's, that's not dirt. Some of them do have really cute natural designs in them. So I'm going to be mixing them up. Um, Celtic, hell oh my goodness, where the hell have you been? Welcome. Holy shit. Um, 
I got some closed ones. No, I'm not going to sell the closed ones. Um, but I will be opening them. And did you guys know, I did not know this. Did you guys know that there's one out of 5,000 chance that you can actually get a pearl in a clamshell? I didn't know that, especially fresh water. Yeah, I looked it up. So we got a whole bunch of the closed ones as well. I'm going to be checking for pearls. But either way, they're, they're still going to be up for sale. Here are some other cool ones. Brandon from Ex What the fuck are you doing here, dude? Babe, it's Brandon from Exotic Pets. Uh, what the uh, hell? Where the hell have you been, dude? What's up? He's saying, sup. What's up, brother? What's up? Where the fuck have you been? Holy <laughs> shit. Welcome. Jeez, for a second I was like, that that sounds familiar. No. He moved to Alabama. Oh wow. What part of Alabama? What part of Alabama? We might be neighbors soon. So here's another one. Look how pretty they are, the fancy ones. Mobile, Alabama. Oh, wow. When did you move there? How long ago? Jeez Louise, man, where the hell have you been? Here's another fancy one. These are really pretty. These won't be ready until maybe sometime next week, late April. We moved like early May April. I'm not going to say it on camera where, but um, yeah, still Nevada, unfortunately. I heard what happened at Exotic Pets after the other dude took over. That's crazy, man. So that, look how pretty it is. I know I have to clean it up, but just give you guys an example of some of the really pretty fancy shells I have. Good to hear from your brother. Good to hear you're doing good. Yeah. Oh, more close seashells. How's it in Alabama? How are you surviving there? How's the weather? Are you still with reptiles? Working with reptiles? I miss working with reptiles. I'm gonna do that again. You got a couple cool new ones. Yeah, we have a, you wanna show him a, what you wanna call it? That a little bit. Little guy we have? We just bought a new. Uh, you have to see uh, the new little guy we have. We got have. a new bearded dragon. We have a new bearded dragon. He's had too much rain. Oh, I bet. So what are you doing there now? Look, more. You'll have to show us around when we go out there. Yeah, dude, we're going to, there's a good chance, hopefully at the end of the year, we're going to stop by. We want to travel and see where we want to move out. Alabama for a while. Out of fucking Vegas and North Vegas and Henderson and Nevada and Reno and all the good places. We're done with it. Oh, so this is, sometimes they do still come intact, just to let you guys know. But the reason why I'm not going to sell them intact is because while I'm working on them, they might break apart. Same shit, they still have it, but... Look at the pretty designs in these seashells. I know that's kind of hard to see with the fucking lighting. Oh, see, it broke apart. I knew it would. Hey, Tamika. Washing dishes at Cracker Barrel, and I haven't gotten a car yet. Why? Yeah, I'll tell you where it is. At least the pay is better there, I hope. Look, another one. He said he's washing dishes at Cracker Barrel, and he still hasn't gotten a car yet. Huh? Brandon said he's washing dishes at Cracker Barrel. All right. And he still hasn't gotten a car yet. Well, at least he's working. Keep working, bro. It'll fall into place and something better will open up for you and you'll have a car and you'll get all kinds of shit. Oh, bro. that's not so bad. Eleven twenty-five an hour. No, that's not bad. Yeah. Just be thankful you're working, bro. I know a lot of people are looking for fucking jobs right now. But here, talk to Brandon for a minute and let me go wash my hands. Huh? Talk to Brandon, let me go wash my hands. I'm still trying to find a reptile job. Yeah, is there a lot of reptiles out there in Alabama? Or there are people into that shit out there too? Probably not as much. It's 
Someone said hello before that. I didn't see. Hi, everybody. Tamika was saying hi to people. Sorry if everybody I missed the hi, 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 hi. Love you guys. He said not as much. That sucks. For reptiles. Hey, you know what? Maybe you maybe could we start open a business it. Out there. Yeah, maybe we should move there and start a business there. We'll kick it off. I miss my snakes. I have, we had to sell almost all the snakes that we had. We did keep one. Um, I don't know if you remember us telling you that we had the dwarf. She is a dwarf. She's like literally two years old and that big. We got her from uh, Alabama too. It's not Alabama. The lady Alabama. That's not her name. Or Texas. What the hell is her name? <laughs> Texas, no. <laughs> I forget. Um, man, now you got me forgetting. Oh, um, what was that chick's name at Exotic? New the York. heavy set woman, the one that we love. New York. It wasn't New York. Um, Chicago had, or something like that. It was that. in Chicago. Texas. No, I still Georgia. have a number. Georgia. <coughs> Georgia is the one that sold us the dwarf. The dwarf. Yeah, he said Georgia. She didn't think he was going to make it. Hey, beauty. Yeah, Georgia um, gave us a deal on it because we got her and... Uh, She's actually the only one that gave us really good deals on her. Yeah, and we got a couple of snakes from her. And then she didn't think that... Um, the dwarf was going to make it, so we got it. A super good deal on it. And then we brought it back to life pretty much. We do. We have lizards. Georgia is a sweetheart. I know. She's the huh? best. Hey, Vicky. Hey, everybody. Um, Brandon said Georgia is a sweetheart. Yeah. She, she always has given us snakes at below prices at what she could sell them at mm -hmm. and has always been good to us in that sense. Mm -hmm. I have nothing bad to say about her. Do you know what happened to um, everybody at Exotic, Brandon? I'm curious to know what happened to people at Exotic. And I heard um, <coughs> Crocodile Reef when they took over. Where'd Sean go? Yeah, where is Sean? What happened to him? Probably went back to PetSmart. <laughs> What? Doing what? Sean started his own business. Tell me reptile, because I'm going to go yeah, to him. I heard he got all that stuff from the reptile store. Mm-hmm. Hey, J-Rod. I heard that uh, the family came and picked up some of it and gave him the rest. But I didn't, I, you know, people talk, so I don't know. Selling pets. I knew it. <coughs> so he did. He did get the fucking animals, what's the name huh? of What's the name of his shop? Does he have a shop or does he do it from home? I have his number. We should know, hit him up. We will. I want to get some um, some snakes and lizards from him. Does he have his own shop? Selling pets. That's so cool. Oh, in case those of you guys who don't know, we are reptile animal lovers. He has a shop that I remember the name. Do you know where it's at? I'll just call him. Yeah, we'll just call him. <coughs> I'm mad because he should have fucking called me. Yeah, right. No, I mean, if he has a shop and he knows, oh no, but you know what? Because the last time we saw him and talked to him, we told him that we were selling our snakes and shit. Yeah. He was supposed to buy snakes for me. And then I don't know what happened. We just got so busy with moving and everything else, I completely spaced out. And I basically sold my snakes to one person that owns a reptile shop. He basically bought almost every single one of them. I love snakes. What do you mean you don't like snakes? Making me hungry. I know this garlic sauce you guys have to try from Zonko's. It's in California. Fucking Kelly. So much happened after the store closed. The, um, 
the guy that bought my snakes that owns a reptile store he told me what happened to um the owner of the new store that replaced exotic Alligator and reef. it was crocodile reef. crocodile reef yeah and um it was i feel like that place was fucking haunted or not haunted but two owners like, like died in a year cursed yeah two owners within a year died that fucking place was cursed i wonder what happened to that building if anyone else took over it or not that's crazy what else is new people snakes scare you yeah it is crazy Um, I love snakes. I'm actually going to get my collection back up again. It's all gone. The banner was taken down and everything. So it's basically abandoned. <clears throat> they took the banner down, babe. The store signed the banner, everything. Yeah. It's basically like abandoned right now. Yeah, no, we drove by it, remember? Yeah, but that was like two months ago. I thought that... Maybe there's a new owner no, or there something. Was nothing there when we went there. Yeah. That's so crazy, dude. Hey, babe. Babe. What? Can I ask for a flavor? What do you need, babe? Don't put anything in it just like that. Snakes bite and some are poisonous and I don't mess with them. Snakes are very much, and Brandon can tell you guys this too, very much um, unappreciated and a lot of people, basically they don't have a good name for themselves because people who are scared will overly exaggerate when it comes to the snakes, but they're not so bad. I had a friend of mine that owned a, a reptile shop here and had a rattlesnake. And I actually got to go play with it. They're not slimy. Tamika, don't bullshit. If you don't touch a fucking snake, then you know they're not slimy. Snakes are not slimy. Ball python. Rattle boa. If you're a first... You're absolutely right, Brandon. If you're a first-time snake owner, get a ball python. Red tail boas, I would wait until after you get... Um... Until after you get a, what do you call it? A ball python. Ball pythons are more chill. Red tail boas do have that striking out of nowhere kind of thing. Unless you hand tame them. But both of them, I'm actually going to get a red tail boa soon. I'm just waiting on a deal to go through and see if I can grab it. What the fuck was that? Is it the door? Leave the door open, I wanna know if it's the door. What? Is that Tracy coming back for her son? We kidnapped the ba uh, the neighbor's kid again. He's playing with my son. Why are you barking from in here, dork? Yeah. Ball pythons are really good. The pups are good. Oh, real quick, before I forget, thanks for reminding me. Brandon, if you know anybody that's looking for a dog, puppies, I have three little fucking chihuahuas. They're only a couple months old. They have their shots, the first set of shots. They need to go. I'm rehoming them. So let me know if, if you or anybody that you know. And this goes for everybody else, too. I'm literally stuck with three puppies, and I need to rehome she them. She does not like other people at our house. Show and care? No. Uh, the kid, the boy, but Tallulah does not like other people at her house. She keeps going to that window and barking at her mind. She don't want no one. Tallulah! Because she's protecting Nathan. Fucking dogs, dude. I have too many. I need to But remember. they're very protective over our kids. That's why. I don't know many people I'm living with. Oh. Well, hopefully you know some more people there. I know it sucks not knowing when you first move in. It's almost like when we first moved in here, we we're trying to figure out who the nosy neighbors were. 
We didn't have to figure it out. Literally the next day, about half the fucking block on the street came out trying to figure out who we were. So everyone's fucking nosy. I'm like, no, I'll just keep to myself. Thank you. I only associate with one of the houses next to me on the left, not the right. The right's creepy pervert peeping time. And then the left is, we became really good friends and her son comes to my house and plays with my son a lot. And then my son goes to their house to do play dates. And her son is here right now playing with my son in his room. Ooh, I ate too fast. Mm -hmm, me too. I was hungry. Me too, and it was so good. I ate so fast that I swallowed air and my stomach started hurting. <laughs> how the hell do you swallow air? I don't fucking know. I was taking a bite and I swallowed and a big old air bubble went down with it. Hello, shut up. Shut up. I'm going to do the unboxing in just a few minutes. Hmm. So, I kind of have an idea of what my gift is that was sent to my P.O. Box. But yeah, I wanted to come on and say hi. I'm glad y'all are doing good. We are glad that you're doing good and you got the fuck out of Nevada. That's all that matters. That's all, and you're not working in that place that's fucking cursed. Um, oh my god, my head's pounding. Go, um, dude, I just got a brain fart. <laughs> I know, right? We're next. We're, we're. We're planning on getting the fuck out of here, too. Trust me. I'm just waiting for the house prices to go down. So um, instead of renting, I could just buy my own house. That's what I want. But the prices are way too high right now. And if we move, it's going to be in the country. Probably like, I don't know about Alabama. Excuse me, maybe. I just still have to do my research on places. But we got Alabama, Montana, Texas, and Florida so far. Maybe, maybe even Arizona, but I like to go where it's green. Yeah. It's crazy. Um. The hell was I saying? Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep in touch, Brandon. I don't know if you have our number or not. But yeah, definitely keep in touch. Pop in. Subscribe and click the bell notification button so every time I go live, you'll get the notification and come hang out with us and definitely keep in touch. You have family in Alabama. Yeah, I heard it's a really cool place. I just have to do my research and... Make sure wherever it's good for my kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, stop by from time to time and say hi. Um, so as far as the unboxing goes, oh my god. My mind is like literally with my kids right now. Make sure they get there safe. Um, I don't know if I'm doing any readings tonight. Just depends if how serious people are about doing readings. Again, it's ten dollars per question, and I do cash app. Tamika will explain all that, but um, yeah, like just depends. If you guys want a reading, let me know. I don't mind. I don't care. I could do a reading. Um, Rhiannon and Tamika, can you guys put my cash tag? 
for my cash app so people could see and it's ten dollars per reading i mean per question i know you know my rules crazy i was talking about other people i want you to go back to it i'll talk to you later all right dude good to hear from you again keep in touch like i said um, go to monicaspiritqueen.com, my website, before you go, and hit me up with your phone number. I'll have my husband save it in his phone. We'll definitely keep in touch. I know he'll text you. <clears throat> yeah, $10 donations per question. But, so... I know I forgot something. I'm always forgetting something. Oh my god. My mind is not all there today. Um, so I'm gonna do an unboxing. It's a very special friend of mine that saw my post not too long ago, and there was something specific that I wanted to get for a while now and I wasn't I mean I could get it for myself number one I didn't know where to find it and number two it's like it's one of those things where you always want it but then it slips through your through the cracks and you don't really remember it until you see it again and you're just like damn I want it I want it I want it so um, I posted that and I thank you guys I posted that and I wanted you guys I mean, I, I wanted to see um, who cared enough to get it for me. And literally within not even five minutes of posting, um, my one of my very good friends asked if, asked if anybody had gotten it for me. And I said, not yet. And this was on Facebook and TikTok. And I said, no, not yet. I said, I had just posted this like just a few minutes ago. And she goes, okay, done. I'm like, what? And then she sends me... A text and a private message on my phone with a confirmation that she bought it for me so I'm so excited to open it I haven't opened it yet it feels super light but again I just shut the fuck up fucking dogs Shut up. so came in this my P.O. box mm -hmm. With Monica Spirit Queen, my P.O. box. And if you guys want to send me gifts, I'm going to link my P.O. box in the description after we're done with the live. And you can definitely send me whatever gifts you guys want. And I'll actually unbox and do an unboxing video and give you a shout out. Can you give a shout out here at the Nikki, my friend Nikki. What did you send you? I'm not telling people what she sent me. I'm going to open it. Because I haven't seen it myself either. So we're going to be surprised together. Text me for a private reading. Okay. Cool. What is this? It came with the stuff. No way. It came with the stuff! Oh, yeah, see, there's a special kind of the whole I know, one. I told you, it's not the one that we have. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Drum rolls. Don't chill. Sure, I want to look at this. Okay, drum roll. Da 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 I got it, Nikki! Oh my god. I fucking love it. Isn't that badass? I love it. Oh I my god. 
It's the perfect size to go see. everywhere with me. Let me see real quick. I know that's what I was thinking too. Because the one I saw in the video was kind of big. Mm -hmm. They probably think it's a fucking pipe. <laughs> I'll explain what it is. It's not a pipe. So bad. It's something cooler. Hold on, let me show it to them. So this What is this for? Does this go on the bottom and the smoke comes It's up an incense too? holder. Look. And yeah, it goes to the bottom. And that brings up that kind of pattern. So you put that? No. So what it is, did you open it? So You put, it comes with a little incense too. These are special ones that we have to buy. And um, you light it. And then all that cool white stuff from the incense, it comes pouring out of here. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll light one. I'll do it. Yeah, the cone on top. Oh my God. I am so fucking in love with this i'm literally in love with it that was so cool we're thank you for giving that yes to nikki this was a great surprise i didn't think to be honest with you because i mean <clears throat> i know i have a lot of followers a lot of fans from around the world but yeah it does it comes from all the holes but this is this is thing this is a thing and and i and i and i and, 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 I love you guys. I love everybody. I'm not saying shit about anybody. But. I know when I got it. I'm so happy. I was not holding my breath. No. Sorry. Rewind. I was holding my breath. Because I didn't think. That somebody would jump in. And get it. For me. Um, I just. That's just me. Lately, I've lost a lot of faith and belief in people. Especially when they say, oh, we care about you. No, motherfuckers. You only care about my readings. That's it. But for somebody that's never gotten a reading from me before, never asked anything from me before, and for her to, out of nowhere, within five minutes of posting, seeing it, and then 10 minutes later messaging me with the confirmation that she sent it to me and it was supposed to be delivered and I went and picked it up today. I was supposed to go pick, the, pick it up yesterday, but I was busy all day yesterday helping my kids pack and stuff for their trip. So I kind of lost all faith and hope in humanity, except for Nikki. So that was a really good surprise, really, really good surprise. Again, it's the perfect fucking size for me to take it anywhere with me. It's really awesome. And I'm very thankful to have such a really good friend. Right, babe? Right? Huh? I said I'm really thankful to have such a really good friend. Yeah, that's so cool. I mean, that was a really good surprise. I didn't think... But her and her husband are really good people. Yeah, her and her husband are awesome. They're really good friends of ours. And remember what I told you? You said, did, I, did anybody respond? Like, right before Nikki responded? Mm -hmm. I said, I highly doubt anybody's going to do it. Yeah. And no one else did. No. So. They're good people. I am a damn good psychic. I know. I know people. <laughs> yeah. She is a very sweetheart. Oh, now all of a sudden you guys want to send me gifts. Okay. I see how it goes. One person, it only took one person to start the trend going. I'm messing with you guys. Um, My P.O. Box is going to be in the description after we are done with this. And you guys know what the description is, right? In my video, right below it, click description, the, the button at the bottom. 
Or you guys get a pen and paper and I'll tell you. My P.O. box is actually posted in that video <laughs> that many people liked and saw. Uh, if you guys have pen and paper, write down my P.O. box. Or just go in the description, doesn't matter. Yeah, most of my videos, my P.O. box is in there. See, it just shows how much you guys care about my videos and actually go in the description and read about what's really going on in my life and my videos and what they're about. But it's okay. I'm not surprised. I know what kind of peeps you guys are already. It's okay. You only love me for my fucking gifts. That's all. Am I done busting you guys' chops yet? No. I'm just beginning. Guys. I feel like shit because I didn't sleep all night. No, it's not in the description now. I said I'm gonna put it in the description after the video. I know, I'm shaking my head too, Vicky. Like whatever. Can you like believe these people already? Can you just believe you guys? I love you guys. I'm messing with you. It's the love in the room. It's the love. So, do you have pen and paper, Tamika? I'll just tell you right now, and then you can post it. We are family. I like to yell at people all the time. If I don't yell at you, that means I don't care about you anymore. Right, Rhiannon? Everybody knows. If I don't yell at you, that means I don't like you anymore. Okay, grab it. Let me know. I know, I know. I love you too. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh. I had to unbutton my shorts. I eat a little too much. Ooh, I couldn't breathe. I'm so excited! I can't wait to... Baby, are you going to light it? So we can show it to them? Where am I lighting it at? Just right here, because it has the bottom thing, so we can just hold it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. No, we have to put it in something. Fuck me in a horse's ass. I'm going like, to on top of that, so I can show it to them. No. Or do you want to put it in my plate? No, I'm just doing something. Like <gasps> oh, shit. But on top of that. That was not me. I did not just burp. I told you. That food was so good. Hey, Valerie. Guess what I got? You just missed the unboxing of the coolest shit I got. I get a lot of cool things, but this... I'm so... I'm going to use this like all fucking night tonight. I'm so loving it. Okay, Tamika, so it's P.O. Box, P-O, and then B-O-X. You already know, P.O. Box. Everybody write this down. I'm such a nerd when it comes to this kind of stuff. I love it. P.O. Box, three, six, four, three, six, four, two, six, four. So that's 364-264, North Las Vegas, Nevada. Does it work? Let me turn the fan off. Yeah, turn the fan off. Let's see. North Las Vegas, Nevada, 89036. I moved. That's why, like... Now I only check my PO. I don't know which way I put it. Look, babe, do I put it that way or do I put it that way upside down? Probably, I don't know. I don't know. No, because I've seen it like that. If that's not the right way, we'll... look it up real quick, please. 
Um, so yes, P.O. Box 364-264, North Las Vegas, Nevada, 89036. Damn it. That's why I go to my P.O. Box once a week, once every other week, because I don't live close to my P.O. Box anymore. Even though I did move far away, in a whole fucking different town and a different place, I still go and check my P.O. Box. I kept my P.O. Box the there same because everybody fucking knows it. I got it to go home. It'll start. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. What happened, oh, yeah, Vicky? Here it comes. Look. Coming out the first one. You better just show it first. Oh. You got to hold it still, though. Or okay. else you're going to mess it up. I would put it down on the bed and then take your phone off. No, hell no. Better hold it still, then don't move. I'm trying. Oh, my God. It's don't, happening. Don't sneeze. Don't fart. It's happening. It's happening. It's so badass. Oh my god. I just can't move. I'm not. Can you see from there? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's happening. <clears throat> Hold off on the comments. Look at this. Yeah! Oh my god. I'm like a little fucking kid in a toy store right now. Put it in the bathroom, babe, and then I want to see it do it all the way. Y'all see this, right? Oh my fucking god. Okay. Set it down in the bathroom? You're going to have to do it. Oh, I'll put it away. Where should I put it? No, in, in the bathroom. Oh my god, it's working. It's happening. I'm going to be playing with that shit all night. Watch. I love it. Do you guys see that? See how fucking cool that was? You see why I wanted that? Oh, yeah. Come up. Oh, wow. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, babe. Babe, mm. come up real quick. Just jump up and look. Dude, that's badass. <sighs> Hold on. One sec. Vicky, I'm going to come back and talk to you. Hold on. And it's still going to continue to build, but look. Where's your phone? You have to take a picture of it. Hurry, because I want to send it to the kids. I'm doing, I'm doing. Later, we're doing another one. Before. No, take a picture of it. Give it to me. I'll do it. Hold on, you guys. Okay, sorry. I had to take a picture of it so I could send it to my kids. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I'm literally like a kid in a toy store. They're hella groovy, baby. Mm -hmm. It's groovy. Tamiko said they're hella groovy. Mm -hmm. It's groovy, baby. Just groovy. Like, I think it's pretty badass. Oh, just <clears throat> awesome. Oh, yeah. It's doing it now. I know. I'm so in love with it. And it smells so good. You're hungry? You're always hungry. I'm always hungry. Uh-huh. Nikki, bro! What's up, chica? Where have you been, Nikki? No, I'm glad you came over here because now I'm going to rip your fucking neck off. I texted you. I called you. You didn't answer, Nikki. And then I texted you and I did not get a fucking response and I still have your same number. So. Dude, this thing's so badass. You better fucking text me tomorrow, young lady. And that's an order from the queen. Nikki. What, babe? It is badass. I love it. Did you hear me, Nikki? Text me tomorrow. What's going on with you, Vicky? Karina, hello. Welcome. You just texted me? Okay, I think I got it. Hold on. Who 
Who just emailed me? Did one of you guys just email me? I got an email too. Anyways, I'll check it when I'm done. Dude, the whole bottle, the whole bottom fills up with like smoke, like it's a lake or something. <gasps> okay, I'm selling. I'm I'm showing it to them. I have to. Oh, it just all blew away. Oh no! All of it blew away right now. I'm gonna shut the door. Yeah, shut the door. Hold on. I have to show you guys this. Don't mind my fucking bathroom. I don't care for it at the moment. Look at this. This whole thing was smoky a minute ago. Now when my husband opened the door, it blew all the smoke. Look how badass that is. <clears throat> oh yeah. And I did to do a money spell on somebody the other day just an example the reason their money was being blocked look at the top see how black it is on the top somebody had put a money spell to put to put a stop on their money spell and I broke the spell this is not the only thing I used to break spells and then my secret in ingredients got burned all the way to the bottom see better business I broke it and now they don't have to worry about money anymore. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. Yeah, and that's my chili sauce. I was doing my hair and eating chips earlier in here. Look at that. Look, tell me that's not badass. Tell me this is not relaxing. And it smells good. Oh, my God. My friend Nikki, I'm going to come over there tomorrow. I'm going to jump on your balls, and I'm going to give you the biggest fucking loves in the world. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Woo. Okay. Let's get out of my bathroom now. You guys seen too much in my house. <laughs> Babe, I'm in love. It's so bad. It filled up again. <clears throat> I know, it's so cool. And you see how it's like a lake at the bottom? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It filled up like, again. I wonder if oh my God, do, hold on, you guys. If any, like, they could manipulate it somehow. They'd, like, do, like, a reading, like, in a cup almost, you know? Oh, that's cool, yeah. Okay, Vicky, who do I have to fucking kill this time? Talk to me, girl. I'm here. I will text you after I get back from picking up my daughter. Is that tomorrow? Are you texting me tomorrow? Nikki? Nikki, Vicky, I mean, you guys have the same freaking similar names. I'm going to be in my sports bra. I don't care. I'm hot. Okay, cool. Text me tomorrow. Vicky, speak up, darling. I'm here, babe. What happened? Who's pissing you off? Who's talking shit? Who's doing what? Who do I have to strangle? Who do I have to put a spell on? And who do my demons have to go after? Let me know. Give me names. I've been in one of those moods where I'm like really, really, really ready to fucking attack people. Who gives a shit? Let them... Fuck, people think I owe them a free reading. Do I give people a free reading? No. Let them think what the fuck they want to think. And you know what? Get those motherfuckers out of your life. If there's someone that's pissing you the fuck off and upsetting you that much, get them the fuck out of your life. I have no problem blocking people. Family, friends, clients. I don't give a fuck. Gas station worker. Psh, I don't care. I block people. I don't give a shit. I don't have time to waste on negativity. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, send me a message. I'm going to call you tomorrow when I get some time as well. And I'll book you in for a reading. I told you that last week when we talked. I told you that I have to book you in for a reading. And you told me to weed off on it. 
So now we're not waiting off on it. You're going to get booked in and we're going to take the next step and figure out what the hell is going on. And whose head do I have to rip off their necks? I don't like people harassing my people. And you guys are like a family here. I take care of you guys. We all hang out. We all have fun. This is a close circle. There were always, you know, it means a lot when you guys jump on my live and, and, you know, and, and, and we take care of each other. We watch out after each other. We don't take advantage. This is, this is why I like it. And I was just talking, remember Tamika the other day that I like the fact that I can leave the room for a few minutes, either to go to the bathroom or to go get a drink or to go check on my kids or to do some spiritual shit right away and make sure my portals are not, you know, going crazy when I'm doing live readings. And I know that I can trust you guys and you guys are not killing each other and talking shit. You guys are all actually getting along. I like that. But Vicky, I was right. I knew you needed a reading. I told you that. I just had to stop being friends with someone because <clears throat> they lied to me and now they're out of my life. Well, that's how it is. Bottom line. And don't ask me why I've been going live without any makeup on because I don't give a fuck anymore. I like my natural beauty. My husband likes it and that's all that matters. I'm not here to impress anyone. But yeah, um, contact me tomorrow, Nikki and Vicky, and everyone else. Nikki, Vicky, and all the Dickies. <laughs> contact me so I can pick you guys in and, fight and figure out what's going on. Oh, thank you, Karina. I appreciate the compliment. Love it. I love everyone in here. Very supportive of you guys. Yeah. See, this is this is the type of people I like to associate with. Not negativity. You guys just fuck. I love you. I like you for you. Oh, thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. I like you guys too. You guys are awesome. That's why like, like I said, you know, like if I leave the room for a minute or two at a time, I know you guys are not killing each other. And I also know you guys are not going to allow a troll to just come in and talk shit. I don't even have to say anything anymore. I'm confident enough. To know that you guys will take care of the trolls for me and I don't have to be interrupted every two seconds. You know what I'm saying? You guys take care of it for me and that's all that matters. I don't give a fuck. I don't have to stress about it anymore. Sorry I had a phone call. You're not supposed to have a phone call when you're with me, man. Have you not learned your goddamn lesson yet? I'm kidding. I love you. You can have a phone call. I'll let you have one phone call in this prison cell. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to get going. I'm going to get up early to go get daughter. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. I love you. I love your new gift. Good night. Love you too, sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bet, woman. Text me tomorrow. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to burp again. I eat too fast. Oh, excuse me. I don't play and get rid of those trolls. Exactly. Get rid of the fucking trolls. Get rid of them. Tamika is saying hi to people that would join us about 20 minutes ago. I'm busting your chops tonight, Tamika. Oh. 
I'll tell you mom and text tomorrow. Uh, in the afternoon. You guys, give me one second. The neighbor came to pick up her kid, okay? Hold on. I got to say goodbye. Give me one sec. I know. Where's the gum? Where's the gum? I don't know where it is. I couldn't find it. Shut my door. I think the girls took it. It's in the garage? No, the girls took it. Shut the door. Shut up. Goodness gracious, mother, I'm Oh, I'm back. Sorry. I had to uh, talk to the neighbor for a second. I had to release the child back to her. <laughs> her son comes and plays with my son a lot, so they're like best friends. And I'm still eating. Jesus Christ. What did I miss? Did we have a troll? No. I don't think we had a troll. That oh, sounds cool to me, though. A wax melt. Sensu burner. I have a sensu burner too. They're really cool. But I wanted this kind. Really awesome. Sensus are good. I got those, the sensu burners, like. When it first, 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 first came out. I have all kinds of incense holders, incense burners, candle holders, all kinds of stuff. But what I got tonight, I've wanted for a very long time. I'm so excited. It's still burning in my bathroom. And it smells so good. What time do you want me to text? 
text me tomorrow. Mm, sometime in the afternoon. Maybe like 3, 4 o'clock my time. And I'm in Pacific Standard Time. Facebook is ridiculous. I never go on there. I'm active on TikTok. Oh, excuse me. Don't even talk about TikTok. I'm so mad at them. I had almost 10,000 followers in less than three months. I would say two and a half months, right? Has it been three months? Two and a half? Something like that? Regardless. Almost 10,000 followers. I had a video that literally went viral. Almost 200,000 views on it. It was shared over 1.9 thousand times. And then a lot of my videos started going into the thousands and the views and started going viral. And then TikTok decided that they were just going to take my account and ban me from it. So I had to make a new account and start over. But I'm mad. I'm really mad about that. So now my TikTok is Monica Spirit Queen 2.0. Literally. Monica Spirit Queen 2.0. So now you guys have to follow me on that. Mm hmm You're right, Tamika. You guys want a reading or not tonight? Who wants to get a reading? Let me know. Ooh, so tired. Oh, I'm tired. Hello. Where are you guys at? When did you guys leave? How long ago? Didn't I tell you guys to let me know? No, I said let me know when you guys are on your way there. Yes, I did. No. Yeah, in the beginning, I said, let me know when you guys get there because I wanted to make sure you guys got there safe. But at the same time, I told you guys to let me know when you guys are on your way there because you guys are still lingering around here. After you were done shopping. Are you guys really starting to act up on the phone shit again? I mean, I'm just wondering. I love you, but you guys need to keep me updated, okay? So this is the reason why I don't interrupt my live and then call you because I'm fucking worried sick. You pause your no, I didn't pause anything. Huh? Right, but I wanted to know exactly when you left. And to make sure that you guys get there okay. You know what I'm saying? But I love you. I miss you guys already. Let me know when you guys get there. Call me. Love you or guys. Or call dad. Miss it doesn't you. matter. Me or dad. Dad said he loves you and misses you guys too. They love you and miss you too. All right. Call me. Love you. <clears throat> okay. Love you. Bye. You call my phone? I called. I had a feeling. They were already on their way, and that uh, my kids did not tell me they were already on their way. How close are they? They just left like an hour ago. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. So now I have to sit up here waiting all night to make sure they get there safe. What are you guys jabbering about about me? My dumbass was in the fucking video. Well, I t you ask me every time, did you pause it? I can't pause it. Well, I didn't, I thought you, for some reason, I was thinking you were on your phone. I don't even, 
That's all right. You're standing right here in front of us. I know. I fucking retarded. <laughs> Who's creepy? They're not talking about me. Who are you guys talking about? What are they saying? They think they do not, this woman. We're still thinking about the graveyard. What are you guys talking about? You're I am. I don't see it. Whatever. You said someone's creepy. <sighs> Hmm? A guy on Facebook. What guy on Facebook? My TikTok. Um, who are you saying follow me if you want? Isn't that the account I'm following? Or are you telling someone else to follow you, Rhiannon? A creepy guy on Facebook. Thank you, Vicky. Somebody had the decency to answer me. I don't know. I don't know who the creepy guy is, but I stay away from creepy people as much as I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I deal with enough creeps as it is. He's harassing you? Did you block him and report him? What dogs are barking? You just fed the dogs because they're all eating right now. That's outside. Oh. Damn, that sound like werewolves. I fed all the dogs right now. Thank you. And your son. My son. Our son. My son! Oh my! Um. Okay, good. This incense that I have smells so good. What this one right here. Smells really good this time. Good. Whatever. Like, whatever. I'm bored up my fucking asshole right now. Your followers are being born right now. I see on a lot of other channels. Talking. Welcome back. Thank you. <clears throat> no, they're just talking away and I'm just trying to catch up on their conversation. I'm like, what is going on? Find me some food to chow on. Eat something, woman. Oh, my God. Whose fucking dogs are those? There's a different bark that I haven't heard before. Oh, I thought you were telling me. I was like, I am on my new page, on my new account. What you eating? Who, me? Rotisserie chicken and the world's best garlic sauce that you can only get from one place in California. And when my dad came to pick up my kiddos, my family came to pick up my kiddos, then I'm not going to see for a month because now they're officially on summer vacation at my family. With my family. Um, what do you call it? I asked my dad to bring it. I like eat, literally eat this like once a year when he comes. He brings it to me like once a year. I'm trying to figure out the secret ingredients. Because I'm going to make the secret ingredients. I keep thinking about a particular person. I don't know why they keep popping up in my head nonstop. You know, do you want a reading, Tim? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And who is this particular person you're talking about? So if you want a reading, I can look into it. What about this person? 
Dude, if that dog outside doesn't shut up, I'm going to shut it up. And I thought my dogs were bad. Just barking away. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm tired. Oh shit, I can't even sleep for a couple hours until my kids get their save. Oh, hello, bitch. Tim, do you want a reading? Apparently not. You're not answering me. Why'd you all get quiet? I was enjoying reading you guys' conversation, being nosy. I was going to say, what the hell? Stop! It goes to messages. Every time I turn my other phone on, my messages go crazy. This is how it sounds all night long. I know, right? You guys hear this? I constantly hear this. That's what it really sounds like. I'm not even touching anything. My messages are coming through. And it's so many, and then you guys get mad when we don't get back to you. It's because there's so many. I know. Are you done? Story of my life. Let me see. It's all kinds of different shits coming through. That's what I just got an hour ago. No, yeah, well, what's all the did you do? What were those? Um, emails, Cash App, more emails. And they're still coming. Are you done harassing me with Gmail? Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Why'd you turn the volume down? I didn't! No, it's my fucking secret goddamn boyfriend. Well, fuck. Tell him to hurry up and get you. Okay, you're killing it now. See? Stop! They're still coming. I know, Bob. If one more person does a goddamn fucking firework before the 4th of July, I'm going to strangle them with my fucking shoelaces. Are you done? Finally? No? I'm scared to turn that phone on and listen to it. I have a mutual friend, but we're not friends. Yeah, I definitely do some readings. I can do readings. That's a lot of messages, yes. Driving me crazy. That's what I go through. And then people wonder why I don't get back to them the same day they email me. I'll tell you what. I'll get back to you guys the same day you email me if you take care of my emails for me. You don't see any other psychic medium in this world getting as many messages as I do on a daily basis. It's 
is the rest are fake. Um, can you remind me to email Maria back? Babe. Huh? Can you remind me to email Maria back? Yeah, babe, email Maria back. Mm -hmm. you're, so, you're, you're a fucking smart ass. Victoria, I just got your donation for the reading. You're so sweet. What's your question, darling? Vicky, that was you, your donation. Whatever message it is, it's not coming through clear. I just feel the emotion. Tim, if you are asking me to do a reading, you need to donate, please. $10 for each question. Sorry, I don't answer free questions. Nobody works for free. Vicky, that was you, right? Okay. What is it that exactly you want you want me to look into? Don't give me that random shit. It's too late for me and give me a headache. Just a reading future don't matter. Okay, but be specific. What exactly do you want to know, darling? Let me know. I mean, I could tell you a hundred things, but then that's going to cost you a hundred fucking dollars for a hundred different questions. More than a hundred. Oh. Babe, keep them entertained. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds, you guys. I keep need what? to grab something. You have PayPal? I don't do PayPal, Tim. I divorced PayPal a long time ago. What did you say to me? I said, keep them entertained. Oh, so yeah. my son, my son just said, are you listening? Mm -hmm. Mom, when she buys stuff at a store and it's $10, but she didn't get to have a reading to someone. Sunny, stop it. See, He's that's, funny. that's specific. My son is hilarious. I love you, son, so much. I like it when he joins and hangs out with us. I'll answer that question. Give me one sec. Here he comes. Give me one sec. I'm not funny. Give me one second. I literally just heard you saying he's not funny. Oh, yeah. I said he's so I funny. He's I love my funny. son. Oh, I thought I was saying he's not funny. I said he's so funny. No one said he's not funny. I said he's so funny looking. Don't. I heard that from my phone. Yeah. All right, go watch your stuff, bud. <laughs> Are you photobombing mom's stuff? He always does. <laughs> He's like... You think all the hot girls are going to want you making weird faces like that? You got to show them your GQ handsome look. Oh, look, they're telling you something. <laughs> don't, don't touch. Lol. I did already. Am I handsome? Right. Am I beautiful? Am I handsome? Alright, watch out, son. The girls want me. One sec. The girls want me. The girls want you. Buddy, you're from daddy. <laughs> 
That's right. Hey, 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 he's still staying with Mama. There's not going to be hot babies with him. What you doing in there, babe? Finding your long lost mother. Yeah. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. I want to beat you like a stepchild. And I found her. <laughs> I'm not sharing anymore. I heard that. That was my stomach. Sure it was. Oh, Rihanna and Sammy looks cool. Cool, cool. Hey, Randy, did you hear your favorite guy, Bill Cosby, got out? Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Pause all the readings two seconds. Bill Cosby got released. The charges on him were reversed wow. and dropped. What the hell? We have to talk about this after the readings. I think that's some bullshit. Where's the control? Let's set the mood to romantic, shall we not? Bow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> Nathan said I'm handsome. That's right. Now go off on mommy's uh, live and watch your your uh, who Disney is that channel. for? I seen, huh? Tell him to go on Disney or something and get off your channel. Yeah, start watching Disney, son. <laughs> Look what he did. My son is moderating for us. Oh my god, no, he's gonna kick everybody off. He's not. People love him. And if they have a problem with him, they can kiss my ass. Uh he said Rhiannon wants a reading. That's why she sent ten dollars. <laughs> he's moderating. You see that, Rhiannon? You're still his favorite woman. Shit, I forgot my crystal. Let me grab it. One sec. The hell? Don't jump on the ball, son. Yes, I can hear it. Bro, calm down. Are you kidding me? I couldn't find it until I found it. Okay, hey, calm down, bro. I got my crystals. They're for my protection when I do reading. Calm down, bro. Oh, no. YouTube knows my kids. Okay, I love you. Go in your room. If it's just my kids alone, then yeah, but he pops popping in and out. He's, he's fine. So He's very proud of his mama. He is very proud of me, and I'm proud of him. So I got my new crystals. They're for my protection when I do a reading. I had to go through some stuff because I had to move shit around when I was packing my kids' stuff today. And their stuff is with my stuff a lot. Okay. So who was, was your question? Your uncle? The orb that you saw at your uncle's, right? Um, you're talking about this is the last time when we spoke. You told me about it. When we went live. Is that the same one? The same time? Or was this a different time? Um, Tim, I use Cash App. Just to let you know. Oh, here goes my runny nose. <sighs> Huh? What do you mean? Who got off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bill Cosby. He's free. 
We're going to discuss this after just two quick readings, okay? Um, Vicky. Okay. So this is, this is what the situation is with your uncle. Your uncle does have... Son, get off. Come on, bro. I'm triggered. They had a dab emoji. You can come back on after I'm done with the reading. Oh my god, my kid is hilarious. Don't make me come in there, bud. Okay, so, Vicky, your uncle, how would I explain this in English instead of spiritual language? Because sometimes people don't understand. Nothing against you guys, it's just I speak a different language when it comes to spirituality. But, and your uncle's fucking energy is really strong. He, shut up. He has a very, can I PayPal somebody here and they can pay you for me? Um, yeah, you guys jump in. Whoever has PayPal, Tim's going to give you guys the money and then you guys just send me through Cash App. Please help out. Let's help each other out. So, Vicky, your uncle himself, I don't know if you knew this about him or not. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know. But he does have not all, but some spiritual doors open. And he doesn't like to talk about it. He doesn't like to deal with it. But your uncle has also seen spirits too. So he does have that spiritual connection. And there are spirits that don't stick around in his house, but they do just pass by. So it's not somebody very specific. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The orb. And it's more than one. If you actually take your camera and record it, you'll see multiple. Okay? So your uncle... Um, Jesus Christ, his energy is strong. He has multiple spirits that come and go. So like I said, if you record it with your phone and make sure the flashlight is on or you take pictures with your phone at, at his house, you will see. Make sure the flash is on. You will see different orbs at different times. He just has visitors popping in and out. It's nothing serious, and I'm not sensing anything negative at the moment at his house, okay? It's not somebody specific. I know you're thinking about maybe a loved one. They do come and go as well, but there's a, there's a lot of traffic going in and out. So it's not just one particular spirit. Does it make sense? Vicky. You've seen another orb in the mirror. See, I told you it's not just that one. It's not just that one and it's not going to be the last one or the only one. Awesome. So in the meantime, your uncle's okay. But anytime you want me to Control the situation with the spirituality. Let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Hello, what, Tamika? You have the picture? Send it to me. I want to see it. That's cool. Send it to my phone. You're welcome. Okay, who's next? Rhiannon? Oh, just wait until we're done, and then you can send it to me. It's not a big hurry. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow anyway, so just when, whenever we're done, then you could send it to me. Rhiannon, you're next. What's your question? Oh, by the way, like I said, Tim needs help. You guys step up. 
I want to know which one. I know you guys, some of you guys, I know which one you guys are that still have PayPal as well as Cash App. And there's multiple of you guys. One of you guys, please jump in, help him out. Let him know where he could send it to your PayPal. Just give him the, your PayPal name. It's fine, okay? It's not a password. It's a public information that people can find anyway. So it's not, it's no secret with the PayPal name. For God's sakes, mine was all over the fucking world. Everyone knew it. Like, just like they do with my Cash App. They can't take money out of your account. So let Tim know which one of you guys he can send the money to, the donation. And then you guys, in return, with your Cash App, send it to me, to my Cash App. So he'll be PayPaling you guys, and then you guys will be Cash Apping me to help him out. Come on, people. Step up to the plate. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint my group. Rhiannon, what's your question? Mickey will do it. Cool. Tim. Tim, you still there? Vicky says she'll help you out with the PayPal. Thank you, Vicky. You're so sweet. That's a girl right there. Zip it! Rhiannon, what's your question? One sec, you guys. I'm plugging my charger in. Is the attachment gone? No. It's going around in the family. Tim, Vicky says she could do that for you. Vicky, Tim is asking for your PayPal info, the, the either email or however you get PayPal from, the name, so he can find you and send you. Um, no, Rhiannon, it's not gone. There you go, Tim. Did you get what I said, Rhiannon? Sorry, I'm doing like 500 things at once right now. Oh my God, why do I look like hell today? I was just answering that question, Rihanna. You didn't hear me? No, it's not gone. It's moving around throughout the house. Shut up! What the fuck are they barking at? They're all assholes.
Yeah, Vicky is helping him out. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you, Vicky. Vicky, Tim sent it. If you want to check in a minute and make sure you could verify that he that you received it. Thank you, Tim. You're awesome. See, there's always a solution to a problem, people. We don't have to stress about everything. Rihanna, did you get it? I answered your question. The attachment is not gone. In fact, just recently he started moving around the house from room to room. Why? Just want to know why me. Why me? I have the worst luck with that kind of shit. Sorry, guys. While we were waiting, I was checking something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just recently, it started moving around. Like before, it was like directly on you. Where you told me, you know, you constantly felt him around. But the reason why you don't feel him as much and your intuition was right. He is moving around. I sent you 10 for my bank. I'm putting his 10 in my bank. <laughs> Good transaction, Vicky. I just got it. Oh my God, contacts are getting dry. Tim said, thank you, Vicky. I heard you, you asked me a couple of times and I answered you very tired. You did? Then somehow your, your guys' answers are being blocked for me at the moment. Because when I looked, I didn't see it. How huh, what, Tamika? Tamika fucking falls asleep and then all of a sudden she hears an attachment. She goes, attachment? Where? <laughs> Oh, Lord. I love you, Tamika. Don't kill me. Okay. Tim, question. Thank you, Tamika. Next, Tim, what is your question, darling? We answer all questions here. Damn fireworks again. That's what they're barking at. I just figured it out. Idiot. Please don't interrupt as readings are in progress. Thanks. Yes, no interruption. Nobody can talk until I'm done with my readings, unless you're the one that's asking me the questions. I know, I got a mixture of fucking weird accents there. <laughs> Tim, what's your question? Rihanna, definitely let me know what you think. I'm interested to hear that. Mm -hmm. 
This is why I hate people when they do fireworks a month straight before the 4th of July. And I literally want to take their fucking tails and shove them up their own asses. People's tails, not my dog's. Why didn't she take Tallulah? My dog left her dog here. My dog. My daughter left her dog here this time when she went on vacation. Damn, everyone's dead quiet right now waiting for the question. All eyes on Tim. All eyes on Tim now. Why does the person keep popping up in my head? It's like the message is unclear, but only emotion. Okay, who's the person that keeps popping in your head? Let me know, but in the meantime, I'm going to tell you this. When somebody's... <clears throat> When somebody keeps popping in your head, it could mean two things. Either you can't stop thinking about that person or they can't stop thinking about you. And they're connecting their energy to you without realizing what they are doing. So it's not that you are physically feeling that person in a way. And, and you know what I'm saying? Actually, sorry. Skip. Rewind. Physically thinking about that person consciously. It's your subconscious mind when that person's energy is connected to you and they're constantly thinking about you. There's a very, very, very good chance that they're the ones that are actually connecting to you. Does it make sense thinking about you? So it's not that that person is in your mind out of nowhere. There is a connection between you two. You're very welcome, sis. Does it make sense, Tim? Can I be nosy and find out who the hell this person is? And maybe I could give you a little bit more details of exactly what you're talking about. But that's basically what happens. If you are not thinking about this person, have absolutely zero interest, not even thinking about him, talking about him, nothing, him, her, whoever, there is a very, very, very strong chance that the other person is thinking about you and or is trying to connect to you in some kind of way. Does it make sense? Tim, who's this person? It's my friend's friend and they end up in trouble sometimes. That really helps of what you're saying. If you want me to give you a detailed, accurate reading, I need to know exactly who this friend's friend is. I'm not a fucking magician to bring all your friend's friends over here and try to figure out which one. That's why I said, who is this person in specific so I can tell you what's going on? What's up, Eggman? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I do super chats, and but I prefer the cash app because I get the money right then and there deposited into my account, and then I could do the reading. So let me know. You definitely agree. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna agree, Rhiannon. I have no doubt. Tim, who is this person? What is this person's name? I just need a first name so I know exactly who I'm triggering. 
There's shitload of friends, friends, and friends, and friends. <laughs> Who is this person? Ah. Tim's putting me on hold, you guys. I just got put on hold by Tim. You see how this works now? The, the roles turned. People are putting me on hold instead of me putting them on hold. We are family from everybody and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> I did not just say that. Shh. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Well, she said sing. I would put music on, but I forgot this isn't TikTok. It's going to be copyright. My TikTok videos are fun. I swear to God. Like, I literally sit there, blast music, and start singing and dancing the whole time. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, Tim. Thank you for letting me know who it is. I can zoom in on that person. Give me one sec. I didn't hold it. Should I? What do you mean? No, you're good. Do you want this bed? Oh, no worries, Tim. We have all freaking night. One sec. Oh, shit. I need a stretch. Hold on. My back hurts. Back's ripping lately. Um, yeah. you have to fix it. What? Fix it. Fix what? Oh, okay. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Your butthole from your pee pee hole. <laughs> it is fixed. <I> <laughs> it's a hundred percent fixed. What are you talking about? I know my chat slowed down. I don't fucking know why. I'm going to see if I could switch phones real quick. Let me grab my other phone. Hold on. One more sec. I got to grab the phone. One sec. I know, I have about a billion phones at home. One for each shit I do. All right, Tim. I'm looking into that girl right now. KFC is delicious. What the fuck does KFC have to do with anything, woman? Oh, the chicken. Yeah. Eggman, don't talk about food right now. I'm going to throw up. I was so hungry <clears throat> about less than an hour or over an hour ago. I ate so fast that my stomach food is sitting and not digesting at the moment. <laughs> you're, you're fine. I'm not mad at you. Just, just thinking about food right now, I'm like nauseated. Okay, Tim, so this friend, 
I'm going to give you a little secret on this person, okay? This friend is not even a good friend to your friend, your best friend, yet alone. Be good with you or anybody else. I don't like the energy of this person and this person. Um, I see a lot of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? When someone has a jealousy tendency and I fucking hate that on people. To me, it's about respect. It's never about jealousy. So this person doesn't know respect at the same time. Um, the energy could be connected because y'all know each other and very much likely this person could be doing something to you or even trying to connect to you. You know what I'm saying? I could do a full reading if you want. You could definitely book in for a, a full reading because I want to get to know this person myself uh, without communicating with this person. So, um, and then I can answer more questions as far as what the motive is. But this person is definitely connecting to your energy. And that's why you're feeling this person. Does it make sense? You guys, I'm doing a reading. Stop talking about food before I kick all three of you off my fucking live. Love you. Come again. <laughs> Jealousy towards you, the friendship, that person's friend, which is your best friend, and jealousy towards a lot of other people. Just a jealous personality. I don't know why. That's why I'm going to look into it during the reading if you want me to book you in. But I do want to get to the bottom of what the motive is for the way that this person is feeling. Does it make sense? But yeah, definitely. A, what do you call it? A connection, energy connection. Yeah, kind of makes sense in a sense to me too, trust me. And to be honest with you, Tim, I've had people like that in and out of my life. Where out of nowhere I would feel somebody. Until today I do actually. When I feel somebody towards some something towards somebody that's coming my way, I'm just like, oh, Okay, now to look into and find out who's behind it and what their motive is and why they keep doing this. So then I take the next step for myself and I actually block that individual or people from being so goddamn irritating. Oh, that's even worse. You know when they say you can't get along with somebody that's very similar to you? Opposites attract. If somebody is very similar to you, it gets annoying. That's why I do not marry a Gemini, because I would go crazy by now. It's the cats again. I can't be with around somebody that has a similar personality because we go toe to toe. And I always take the last bite. That explains, Tim. That fucking explains. When you're in a near death situation, energies, your spiritual side shifts, okay? And meaning that your energy senses has heightened up about almost 100%. You don't even have to say something to somebody. Just your intention or your feelings towards that person.
could be affecting that person a lot faster when your spiritual doors are open and they shift it versus somebody that doesn't have their spiritual doors open. It will still happen, but not as as strong. Hey, fuck you, Vicky. I'm a Gemini. Now what? Bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you, though. I'm telling you. I don't... Me being a Gemini cannot be with another Gemini. No way. I have two friends that are Geminis. We bump heads so much to where I either get irritated and stop talking at that moment or my friends do but we don't get along we love each other but we just don't fucking get along it's crazy it's like a love hate relationship where i love you but <sighs> i hate to say that i'm going to strangle you if you piss me off i don't know how to refresh it it's not letting me refresh it i can't refresh my life i can completely leave though that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> Bitch, I was talking about men, Gemini's. I know, I'm busting your fucking chops, biatch. Bring it. Don't forget, I know where you live. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to bring it? <laughs> <laughs> first I'll karate chop your ass and then we'll have steak and dinner and and a few shots and watch a movie and go out and have fun and shoot some pool and fuck with people all day and all night for about a week come on all right fuck I'm gonna pack my bags tomorrow watch watch but I'm coming with with my package okay I don't travel alone when it's a fun affair like this. So my husband and kids are coming. Nope, sorry. My husband and my son are coming with me. My girls are not with me. I miss my girls already. I want to cry. You guys, I miss my girls. Right, I need that. Oh, yeah. I did tell you that I'm going to fucking kick your ass, didn't I? To no one else's business why. I said I'm going to fuck you up when I see you. Man, kick your fucking ass. And every time I do, just know I love you. That's why. I'm so violent. I know where you live. Let me try to see if I could get a plane ticket. I'll be there tomorrow. That's it for the fucking questions? Man, this channel's been dead today. No, I'm scared. I know, me too. <laughs> oh, God. This is why I like hanging out with you guys. You guys are fun. I'm shivering in my boots. What happened? Hold on. What happened? Everything's fine? Yeah. Everyone alive? Yeah. Dude, this, my shit's lagging so bad with the comments. Is it? Yeah. Like, it's slow down. Look. And they're telling me that the comments are coming in late. That's probably true. Maybe it has something to do with the vendor. Oh. Yeah, the bad connection on the towers. I want a private reading tomorrow, remember. I'm not giving you a private reading tomorrow. I'm giving I'm booking you in tomorrow for the private reading. Same day readings are double, and I don't think you want to pay double. 
But yes, I remember. You remember. You're the one supposed to fucking text me. I'm the one that talks to 500 people a day. You talk to less than that. So lucky you. You remember and you let me know. Text me tomorrow. Hello, Tim. Is this shit really slow? What? What are you girling me about now? What the fuck did I do this time? Tim, I'm here. I see you. What happened? I don't know why, but my shit's really super fucking slow right now. What I could do is I can go out and then come back in. But it's going to be under a different thingamajinga video on my channel. Ooh, my chest pains are acting up again. All right, I'm going to go turn the shit off and then come right back. So join my next live in like 30 seconds. <laughs>